Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel, um, I'm back out, and today a um, bit of a special one, I'm off out on a wild camp, but this time um, I'm on my own, I'm uh, doing my first solo wild camp, so I'm really looking forward to that, and all the years I've done this, I've always went camping with someone, uh, so this is my very first ever wild camp by myself. The walk in, I'm a bit hot, thirsty, so I haven't got too far to go now to where I'm going to set up. Um, it's quite hilly. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Right, we're just heading to the spot I've decided to set up. We'll be there in maybe five minutes or so. Oh, we'll just get ourselves right off that. I've arrived at the spot where I want to camp. I'm just getting a drink of water because I'm dying of thirst. I'm kind of sweaty now. Oh. Yeah, I've arrived. What I'll do, I'm going to rehydrate, get set up, and then I'll show you around. It's a beautiful little place. Some interesting bits around here as well. I'll show you then. But first of all, I'll uh, get set up. Just look at that. There we go. All set up. Hammock and tarp. Under blanket. I've just brought the jungle sleeping bag out this week because it's uh, getting warmer. Got a nice bank side of wild garlic there, so it smells absolutely amazing. We'll have a little look around. You can see I'm just on this riverbed, but during the summer months it uh, disappears. We'll take a little look at that further upstream just now and bridge there. We've got some old lead mining workings up there, so we'll go and have a look at that later. And that's upstream, so we'll have a walk up that way. It's absolutely beautiful down here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but um, I can hear the water flowing. So we'll head up there to where that is. There we go, no water. That's where I'm pitched up, just down that side down there. And there we go. Water. As you can see, the river heads off underground at this bit. It comes out a bit further down. The cave I went in before on one of my earlier videos, that's over that way somewhere. You can hear the water cascading off the rocks down at that part. I think it heads off into a quarry. In fact, I know it heads off into a quarry. What a stunning little place. See, so there's not many pictures, sorry, places to set up camp here, but uh, I've picked a good one. And a couple more along here, but it's quite close to that fence and uh, the trees are fairly spaced apart or they're like, like thin. Right, we're going to head back down that way now. There's a little water source there coming down. What I'll do later on, I'll show you is where that comes from. 
That comes from uh, the old lead mine that goes into the ground. And I'm going to head back to camp now and go and get a brew on because I'm gasping. I get some food on because I'm getting hungry now. I'm skip breakfast so I can get here. Right, we'll go and get a brew on. something to eat and some coffee but I'm ready for this got a spot on little seating area here and what I'm gonna do is clear an area down here and have me fire I'm not gonna have a big fire just something to, uh, that something nice to sit in front of and cook on or a steak and some belly pork to have later on so they'll be nice cooked on the fire they're nice just sitting there and chilling it's absolutely beautiful there's absolutely loads and loads of dead wood so I've got plenty of firewood to have and daft little bits like that And when the water's been in full flow, with it being a riverbed, we've got trees that are being washed up. So I'll cut that up. I mean, that should keep me going most of the night, just that, that itself. Just having a look along here. There's all bits of minerals. It's probably been a spoil heap from the mine. Put that up there. All right, some more there. You know, I presume this is quartz. I'm not particularly clued up on on that. Nice piece there. It's a nice shape bit. And keep them. Got a camp just over there. I'm going to take a look at the mine. There we go, there's the entrance to the mine, leading straight into the ground. Uh, in this area, they would have mined for Galena, which is lead ore. I think it would have been owned by uh, the London Lead Company, I would have thought. Yeah, going straight into the ground, they'd just uh, mined for the veins of Galena. The water coming down, and up that way, there was an old water wheel but won't be able to see where that was now because everything's so overgrown we'll head back this way you can see remnants of an old building just along here just make it out now through the trees There we go, remnants of an old building, living part of the mine set up, whether it was living quarters or what, I don't know. There we go. We'll have a look back along here because there's a plaque. There we go, that's the mine set up. That must be the mine that we've just had a look at. Then I would presume that's that building just there. And then the water wheel, we're just up there 
on the hillside. There's some stone working up there, so that I would presume that's for it. We'll have another little pop down here later on when it gets dark. A little bit spooky. Right, back to camp. There we go, been processing some firewood, got a bit done, going to get some more sorted in a bit but first of all I'm going to sit and chill over there and have a brew, I've just made myself some coffee, I'm just watching my footing, just made myself some coffee so I'm going to sit down, relax for a little bit, enjoy that coffee and then crack back on, I'm absolutely loving it here like. I just thought I'd show you this. Over 300 million years ago, all this area would have been underwater. It would have been a tropical sea. And this is what's called frostly marble. It's not actually marble, it's fossilised limestone. And this is all corals and marine life from over 300 million years ago. A lot of churches and that round um, the northeast of England uh, have this all polished and stuff like that and it looks absolutely stunning it looks amazing Let's see if we can pick any up in detail without getting it it just looks stunning there's loads of it here you can see all that's frostly marble I would imagine with it being the tropical sea the area would have been the climate in the area would have been a lot warmer than it is today there's loads more of it further downstream like big beds of it As you can see, there's uh, stacks of it here along this bit and a bit more going down there. If you Google Frostly Marble, I'm sure you'll be able to get some images up so you can see what it looks like when it's being polished. It's being used for sculptures and all sorts. So I'm camped back up that way. And the quarry is roughly that way. We'll have a pop down there. There we go. Looks like there's fish in there. You just see bubbles come to the surface. Be getting the uh, flies. Can you see? Is that short? Is that picking up? It's beautiful. And then that's the way I've just came. Up there, we'll go back up. Say in the winter months, the water literally cascades down here. And after heavy storms and heavy rain, it, it looks absolutely amazing. It's unbelievable, and the noise is just mesmerizing. Look at that. Don't you just love nature? I'll go up this way, it looks a little bit easier with me having the camera. I'll just put the uh, swap bands and get all of this. 
There we go. The view looking down. That's fantastic. again there we go and so this is the same thing frosty marble Now this next bit is a bit uh, more difficult to get up. I might have to put the camera down on this bit. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now we're managing, I think. There we go. Here we are, heading back to camp. I'm absolutely loving this solo camping, like. There's my seating area, my brew kit. I'm gonna get some water now, rehydrate. Bit early yet for a beer. My hammock and that over there. Right, it's time to get the fire going because I'm starving. It's about eight o'clock ish now. So we'll get uh, some cotton wool, some wax cotton wool, and the ferro rod, and the fluff fire up. There we go. Give that a minute or two to get going.
There we go, fires go nice. Got plenty of wood to burn for the night. I'm just enjoying a tin of beer. Ready for this. Nice. This is nice and chilled out. Absolutely loving it. Just gonna sit, chill out in front of the fire, get some food on. Got some Chinese belly pork. I'm ready for that, I'm starving. There we go, we've got the belly pork cooking away nicely. Bit of a fire going behind it, just so I can keep the embers going. The smell is absolutely amazing. My stomach won't stop rumbling. I'm ready for this now. There's some heat coming out of that firelight. I don't think I'll bother having much of a big fight tonight because it isn't cold. It's quite warm tonight. Clouding over. I don't think it's forecast rain or anything, so should be a nice night. God, that smells amazing. There we go, there's camp down there. As you can see, the fire's giving off quite a nice glow. A nice little bit of light around camp. So far, I'm absolutely loving my first solo wild camp. Absolutely amazing. Just so chilled. We've got pretty much lost the daylight. It's quite dark. A little bit of light left. Don't think the camera's picking it up. There we go. Well, we're pretty much in darkness now. Another half hour, I would say. Right, I'm going to chill by the fire and enjoy the night. Right before I turn in for the night, I thought I'd do one last little clip of a video. I'm just listening to the owls. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. And there's a female and then a male in that direction. I hope the camera's picking that up because it sounds amazing. We've got Oh, bloody hell. Stumbling. I'll leave that in. Camp. Down in that direction somewhere. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There we go. That's camp. Where it's illuminated a little bit with a fire. And I've come back over to where the mine is. So I'm going to spin the camera around now. And see if we can pick it up. There we go. There's the remains of it. I'm not going to walk any further because I'll end up walking off that edge. Just listen to that. The water trickling. And the owls. Life doesn't get much better. First solo wild camp and I'm absolutely loving it. Right, I'm going to leave the video then head back down to camp finish my beer and uh, turn in for the night so this time we will see you in the morning bye for now 
There we go, I'm back by the fire, chilling out and enjoying a beer. There we go, enjoying a beer. The fire's lovely and warm. Not a cold night anyway, but it's nice having the fire. I'm uh, going to end the video for tonight here. And we'll uh, see you again in the morning. Just sit by that fire. Right, I'll get back to you in the morning. Morning, folks. And what a beautiful, glorious morning it is. Sun's absolutely blazing in the sky. Check that out. It's 8 o'clock. I'm a bit good because I wanted to be up really early and hear the dawn chorus and stuff, but I slept like a log. Uh, best night's sleep I've had in ages, which I'm quite surprised because it's my first time doing a solo camp. I thought I'd be a bit uh, edgy and not sleep too well, but there you are, slept like a log. I've got a brew on just over there. I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to get this lot tidied up, get packed away, and head off home. Absolutely loved this lake. Absolutely loved it. Right, I'm going to go and see how that water's boiling. Get a brew. Right, that's me ready for the off. There's my gear all there, packed up, ready to go. My Bergen, my food bag, rubbish bag, tripod for my camera. I'll show you around where the fire was. That's where the fire was, just there. That's where I was sat. I'm gonna lift that rock off the top of there. As always, leave no trace. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed being out making it. It's absolutely beautiful. I've loved it, it's been fantastic. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up, It'd be much appreciated. And bye for now, we'll see you on the next one.